Yeah, hello everybody. You're tuned in to, or you're listening to Dougie Stone, and this is uh, an interview with an amazing guy that I've met virtually on the internet called uh, Gangster Clyde. So if you go and check G.Clyde on YouTube, you'll find all his stuff there. Really interesting individual. I really enjoyed talking to him. He's based in Detroit, and uh, he has a style of music. He doesn't like to call it hip hop, he calls it urban rhythm, and that's what I've started calling my Saturday night show, Urban Rhythm. If you want to know a bit more about me, please go on to Dougie Stone Radio Facebook page, and that is D U G Y S T O N E. Same for the website, Dougie Stone. Uh, radio.com my name's Kurt Pickstone you can always check me out there and but please support us just by either commenting sharing or come and listening to some of the shows the uh, Urban Rhythm sh- uh, show I do on a Saturday night UK time 10 8 10 p.m which is in Detroit about five o'clock in the evening and if you're listening in Australia because we have Australian listeners that's 8 a.m in the morning so Thanks for checking the show out. Uh, there'll be stuff in the show notes. And uh, tell you what, let's get on with the interview. Here we go, people. Right, so people, uh, as you know, uh, this station is about promoting new up-and-coming artists, unsigned bands, whatever, great uh, presenters. And we, we, promote, we promote people from all over the globe, really, in the uh, US, got guys in Africa, got guys in Australia. And... As a result, we started doing a hip-hop show on a Saturday night because we've hooked up with uh, a guy called Larry Nelson or Larry O from the D is in Detroit. And one of the guys that's from that interaction I've ended up meeting uh, virtually, not physically, is uh, Gangster Clyde. So good evening or good afternoon, whatever time it is. Good evening, good afternoon. How you feeling today? Yeah. Daddy Stone Radio. Yeah. How you feeling, Kurt? I'm feeling dope. Like set adrift. I've just been playing it while I've been waiting for it. <laughs> oh, yeah, set adrift. Oh, dope. Yeah, that's too bad. I'm dope boy fresh. That's what I am, man. Dope boy fresh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I, dope boy fresh for sure. Yeah, it's cool. Uh, I don't. I, I like interacting with you guys and on the Facebook. I know we're going to talk about you in a second, but I, I like. I've linked up with Larry O, and obviously right. I do like the. I've only been to the states a couple of times. I've been to New York and I've been to California, which I really love. I've been there a couple of times, and obviously I don't know the culture, the culture, and what you guys are doing and all the rest of it. But the the great thing with the Facebook Live is I've obviously been allowed into a, another world and another uh, group of individuals that I'd never, I would because I would never physically before the internet meet you guys or know about you and talk to you right. and be able to do this. I think right, it, right. I think it's fantastic and. I really, you was one of the first people to send me your music or get involved, which I really like. And you've you've brought a few um, songs out since that. And what I I really liked, um, I really love Set Adrift. Really like that. Right. Thank you. Thank you. That was uh, that's the lead. Like that's basically my lead single, Set Adrift. That song right there uh, describes like me to the T, like, perfectly, like, my life, I made that song, Kirk, because, um, I was, I was in a, uh, going through some, you know how life make you go through different things, and I always been doing music, and that's all, what I always wanted to do, Yeah, and, you know, like, life situations, like, other stuff took a toll in my life where it slowed me down, and it was like, I got to a point where I didn't really want to do like I was, I was kind of discouraged with the music because of how the situations was going in the music game. And one day I just sat there and I was thinking real deep, listening to some old '90s hip hop, yes. and I was just thinking. And that song just, I just start. Uh, what song came on? Uh, PM Don. Yes. Set a drift on memory bliss. Yes. Set the drip on Memory Bliss came on, and I listened to that song about 10 times, just over and over. And that thing, I know I was cutting up the drum beat from it, remaking the whole thing and building around it, because that actual, it's a little sample in there, drums, but that's from the PM Don, Set the Drift on Memory Bliss. But the rest of the production I did on my own, and then the words just started flowing, and they, like you say, dope boy fresh, like, Mm. that just was me back you know what i'm saying it's just yeah, yeah. it was a basically the way i'm speaking on the song is that i grown up i went through a lot but i grown up 
You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Like I say, dope boy fresh. Night owl, I don't know no rest. Early bird, getting straight to the tops. Like it's 5.57 where I'm at. I don't, I grind, I don't sleep. I be getting to it, you know what I'm saying? So I'm saying, mm-hmm. what I mean by set of drift is just get to your goals. However you got to do it, just get where you want to be in a positive space. You know what I'm saying? Set a drift. Yes. Yeah, I do. Yeah, yeah and, and you're right. When I, when I first heard that song, um, I actually loved the, orig- the original by PN Dom, Set Adrift, and, I was like, and I've gone away and listened to that again. And when I first heard, you, heard that tune that you did, or that song, or that track, or whatever, however you want to describe it, I was like, oh, my God, this is brilliant. And I thought, it reminds me of something, and then it clicked what it was from. But what you've done now, you've taken that song and twisted it and made it your own, I really, I, I love it absolutely. I think you've done a brilliant job with it. And you're right. We all, we all experience hardships. We all experience troubles. We all have adversity in our lives. I'm playing my game for me, not my game for everyone else. I think that's what you, your experience is. What you're saying, you're saying like, do, yeah, exactly. do your own thing. Do be, be you. And uh, I like it. And I like the way you come over in your your videos and you've got a new song out at the moment haven't you you've just sent me that recently it's just gone on youtube oh, yeah, yeah, yeah live for the fun yeah 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 live for the fun yeah i like that video because i, w- I watched the video and you're doing it you're sat in a i don't know if you're in a kitchen or, or you're, you're looking through um you're looking through some blinds aren't you and then oh, it to the the blinds, yeah, yeah I love, watching the streets i love <laughs> i love it i love it and yeah. and what i really like killer kev sent me the last one that you did and um i watched the video on that one i can't think what it's called now. i apologize for that uh, the real. that's it that's the one and there's a point in there where you're in a hotel room it's in black and white and um i remember and i said to i said to um killer kev is that he put a picture on instagram about two months ago i think he was filming that video and that's the same hotel room he went yeah you're spot on I, 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 and I really like that because you put the picture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you had your, la- your laptop. You was in the hotel room taking a picture, and he's in black and white. And then I saw it in the video, and I felt connected to it. So, what I want people to, people to do if they're listening to this and they've not heard your music before, and they will do because I'll be playing some uh-huh. of it in the show, is. Uh, go and check your YouTube channel out because you've got loads of stuff on there and, the, and go and watch the video. So what's the YouTube channel called, just in case people uh, don't know? The, you, the YouTube channel is G.Clyde, like G period Clyde. Yeah, great. That's it's... it, G period Clyde. And they can get all the, all the new stuff and all the exclusive videos on there. Yeah, that's crazy you remember that hotel room. Because actually in that, in that clip where I'm in there vibing to the music, I was actually practicing getting ready for a show. Yeah, yeah, and I looked at it, and it just, it's weird because I felt, I, I saw it, and I thought, yeah, I just connected it, connected the two things together, and it, and <laughs> like we've never met physically, but I feel like I'm getting to know you and I'm getting to know some of the other guys more because of our interactions. Oh, yeah. So you, you're, based, you're based in Detroit, is that right? Same as Lario? Yes, I'm, I'm based in Detroit, but uh, I go wherever. I go to California, New York, Atlanta. I, I perform everywhere. It does. I went to the A3C in October, did like 12 shows in four yeah. days down there. Yeah. That was live. A3C in Atlanta, that would be nice. I know y'all have music festivals over there. What's going on with them? How can a brother become part of the music festivals over there? I do like to travel. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure. See, see, this is the thing for me. I need, I'll do a bit more investigation. My my lad is my one of my sons is 15, and he's really, really into hip hop and rap. Mm-hmm. Uh, he's really into the UK scene, which they call drill, which has come from uh, Chicago, I think. So in London, they do a lot of drill type. Oh, hip-hop. they love drill music. Yeah, drill music. yeah. Oh, oh man, let me write that down. Yeah, they do. Oh, that in the UK. Yeah, in London, especially round in London and Brixton round in London, where you've uh, you've got a lot of hip hop singers. Because Brixton round London is a lot. You've got a lot of you've got a lot of black singers round there. Anyway, guys, uh, artists, and because it's quite a, a big population um, in in the UK. And then you've got in the northwest, there's a guy called uh, oh, I forget Bugsy Malone. I quite like his music. Oh, yeah, Bugs Malone. Yeah. yeah yeah, he's he's pretty good as well. But yeah, there's a scene over here, and like I say, so hip hop 
is I like all types of music, but hip hop is not one of my genres that I've like um, got been into in the last few years. But in the last in this last year, I've really got an into understanding it a lot more and seeing what's out there. So I need to know. I'll have a look around and see what festivals are going on because there's got to be some some festivals that people can get involved in. Yeah, uh, let me know. We'll put together a team and come out there. Yeah, we'll we'll be good because recently we had um, oh I can't think what it's called. Tone Tone was over here with um, oh, yeah. Tone Tone was over there with Acon. Yeah, it was with Acon, and I tried to get yeah. <laughs> I tried to get an interview with him wow. and i went down to where he's playing and i couldn't find him i did every time i went somewhere they'd gone somewhere else i, I was like a cat and mouse so that was interesting but, I, but i'd like to speak to tone tone as well and do an interview with him but anyway we're talking to you yeah. in a minute. so you know, tom, tom from here that's fan yeah yeah and larry <laughs> o, larry, larry always try to help me up with him but I'll, I'll get him eventually but it's um yeah definitely have a look at some of the drill artists and look at what the what you're doing and i'll uh We'll see what we can do this end and what actually is out there for you. So, do you are you a full time? You you just doing this full time? Is this how you earn your money, or do you have to? Sort yeah, of, yeah. Music is well. I tell you like this, Kirk. I'm a multi talented man, but music is my main. Music is my main source of income. Yeah. Period. I do music on all levels. I do paperwork. I do promotion. I do, I mean, you know, I'm just involved, but truthfully, I'm an artist at heart. Yeah. But, you know, in, in, in the music game, people, you have to understand all facets of it. And sometimes you have to wear three or four pairs of shoes. You know what I'm saying? Oh, so, like, yeah. I produce, I engineer, I master, I make beats. You know, I do everything. So, I always got a source of income for his music, though. Yeah. Because I'll... I could do everything. If somebody need a track master, and then I don't charge people a lot of money because I know people trying to make it in the game, but it keep me happy. Yeah. You no... know, I be trying to help people, but I love to make an artist pay for their initial. You know, and then after that, I take if I see an artist serious, I take them on. It won't even be money involved, but I like to make artists pay money up front at least three to five times just to see that they serious because a lot of people try to do music and they're not serious about it and they'll waste your time and time is money money is time so mm. if you see a person paying their way through it's easier for you to be like you know what don't give me no more money because i see you serious i want you on my team you know what i mean yeah yeah i get the, no 100 percent 100 percent yeah, I, I get that. So that's how I really be. Yeah, that's how I be with art. But yeah, music is my full time job. Kirk, this is all I do. I travel, perform. You really? know, I do shows. I do shows all the time. Yeah. And right now, I'm just building. I'm about to go on my um, radio promo run in January. We start. We starting down in Atlanta, and we're gonna work our way back to Michigan. Excellent. Excellent. And it's going to be nice. We're going hard with the uh, set of drift and my inventory song. Those are two singles that we push in heavy. Yeah, I like both of them. I like both, and I've played both of them on my show, and uh, no doubt they'll be playing again because I, I know I do repeat some of them, but it's quite important that if I get new listeners coming on and we've got listeners coming on all, all the time, that they don't miss out on some of the, uh, some of the, um, some of the songs that we play. I mean, I, I, I put that show on at um, 10 o'clock UK time. So it's about, I think it's about 5 p.m. in um, Detroit. Um, and the reason I do that is because it's it's, the, it's, it's a, they're quite explicit. A lot of the songs are quite explicit. Oh, is it 7? Yeah. 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 So, yeah, I yeah, put that on later. Right. Right. I put them on late at night because obviously it's explicit and uh, and it gives an opportunity for people in the States to listen and people in uh, Australia if they want to because we have listeners over there as well. So, yeah. That's it's cool. Yeah, it's cool. I mean, we, we've been going... Uh, obviously, I was on another radio station before when we met. Now I'm on... We've got our own radio station and we've, <laughs> we've been going six weeks. A bit like you. We're um, I'm wearing many pairs of shoes, as you say. I'm doing doing yeah. shows. I'm, I'm hustling out there trying to get people to support us and sponsor us and listen to the station and doing all the other things we do and right. uh, if you're passionate about it like you are and and you keep driving someone's going to pick up on you aren't you you know and 
you've you've got us over here supporting you, and no doubt you'll get right. other, you'll get other stations supporting you as well. So, do, do right. you, so uh, Larry O, do you know Larry O personally, or have you just met him through uh, the internet? Um, I know Larry O since we was five years old. Oh man, <laughs> man, that's yeah, wow, literally, wow. Me and Larry O, we went to elementary, middle school, and high school together. Wow, I didn't know. I wasn't sure about that. That's great. I've learned something. No, we like we like family. Like yeah. Kev too. All of us grew up together. Brilliant. All of us, yeah. All of us grew up together. We like a family. You know, that's why when he reached out, said you, I had to reach out to you. And like ever since I reached out to you, you like been one of my biggest supporters. So like anything Dougie Stone need from G Clyde, I got y'all. Y'all throw a concert, anything, I'm coming. Nice man. on the love. Nice man. Uh, I, no, I appreciate that because I do this bit like you. I I I am really really passionate about music. I've always loved music from being very young. I've listened. It's always been in my life. I can't sing, but my way of interacting with music is is doing this sort of thing. And I'm really really when I identify with people or I see something that I like, and then we're all in. We're we're all in, and and uh, we're. we're, we're yeah, we're just here to support you. And if we like someone, right, right. yeah, so you've got our, we've got your back as well, and you've got ours, which is where I want to take the station. We we promote you, you we look after you, you look after us, and we become exactly. we become this big inter interconnected global family that um, works together, and that's great. It really, is good. Yes, that's 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 amazing. And mm. It's a great thing, but uh, yeah, we going man, we gonna do bigger and better things. It's good. It's about to be a great. 2018 that i know yeah for sure it's gonna be great yeah it will be it it's will be. be yeah and especially because you, you're obviously collaborating with a lot of people and working and 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 you're putting the legwork in aren't you you're going you're going touring you're doing your, your radio tours you're going doing live gigs you're all over the place so actually by getting out there a lot of people see a lot of people want to do something he was talking before about paying the money up front you're paying your money up front in physical action you're taking action exactly. going i'm here and i'm I here said, i'm here yes. i'm here and uh obviously call it hustling you know hustling however you mm -hmm. want to describe it you're out there hustling and someone's got to notice you haven't they someone's got to notice that activity if you were just sat in exactly. your bedroom going oh i want to be a big star and i'm producing and you just keep producing music and it might be the best music on the planet but if you're just in that box and you're not getting out there. You've got a network. You've got a hustle, and uh, you're doing the right thing. You're doing definitely yes. doing the right thing. Yes, indeed. Like I tell you, we just a lot of footstep, a lot of footwork, not enough feet. Yeah, that's, <laughs> I, I tell people, we just a few steps from success. Walk with me. Correct. And and what? You no, know, because I. Go ahead, go ahead. Now, yeah, what I like about you guys is obviously because there's a, a cultural difference. Is some of the terminology you use, and it's brilliant. And I love picking up the new, new, the new, new uh, words that you use. Brilliant. Yeah, carry on. Sorry, I interrupted you then. <laughs> uh, no, you was good. I was just saying, like, I, this this game is not that hard. You know what I'm saying? Like the music is um is more so, like you say, you just gotta find your way. Uh, and know what you want in life, but uh, it's a lot of people. Like I know a lot of people that do music, Kurt. Right? Yeah. And they're not serious, like you say. You can't just sit in a room and say, "I want to do music and be a big star." And nobody sees you. So I tell people, a lot of footwork, not enough feet. If people don't understand, like me, like the videos you've been seeing, I do my own videos. Yeah. You know. The music you've been hearing, I engineered, mixed, mastered, recorded, wrote, produced some of it. You know what I'm saying? Like, so it's just all the work and time that I put in, I get back 100 fold because, like I tell people, I could go pay somebody a thousand dollars to do my video, but yeah. I know how to do it myself. But if I did pay somebody that thousand dollars or five thousand, whatever it is, to do a video, I would be paying for the name, period. Yes. Because I have the skills to do everything. So only way, I mean, not saying I love collabing, but at the end of the day, we eat off publishing. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I collab with artists. Like, let's just collab. We get the publishing money. You mm. know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, 
and that's the way I like. So when you see you have ten people around you who know what to do, mm. and they don't do it, you have to make your circle small. <laughs> you know? that's yeah. Why Larry O in my circle? Because he works. That's why Kirk in my circle. Because yeah. he works. That's why Kev in my circle. Because yeah. we working. We working. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And like. Your feet doing what your feet doing, Kev feet doing what his feet doing, Larry O doing what his his feet doing what they doing, and my feet doing what they doing. We all just gone. Blow, it's it's going to happen. It's inevitable. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it, it is inevitable. If you, you you know, there's an old saying over here: if you knock on enough doors, uh, one's going to open at some point. And that's that's why I sort of gravitated towards Larry because I saw what he was doing and the effort that he puts in, and the time that he puts in, and the passion that he puts mm. in. Same as you, and it's linked. So I've noticed him sat here, and I the reason I know about him is because uh, um, Wormy in Australia, who, who's on uh, Sweet FM, said you need to check this guy out. And that's so, that's, you do get noticed. So someone in Australia's noticed Larry told me in the mm -hmm. UK, I've got onto it and gone, wow, I like this. I really like the guy. If he was just on there just talking nonsense and no value, but he has, you can see what he's doing. So, I mean, it's probably a question you probably get asked. Who sort of influenced you? What's been your influence in your music? So what, how, you know, obviously you've started to do music. Was there someone in the, back in the day that you went, I really like what they do and I'd like to emulate them or... Was it something well, else? Truth be told, my mother used to rap and sing. Okay. When, like, in the 80s, she was, a, she was in a group called Cool Supreme. I actually got a picture of them on my Instagram, but she was in a group called Cool Supreme. They were signing the MCA records. And oh, wow. she, they used to battle with uh, Salt and Pepper. That was, like, their competition. So, you know, just being around her, all the musicians, my father, like my father, he manages L.J. Reynolds from the Dramatics, and he used to be a, in the Funkadelics with George Clinton. So, and like my uncles, they DJ and they dance. They do techno dance, jig footwork. So, you know, I always been around music. Like I was basically born into music. Right. So I, I put it to you like this. Michael Jackson was my favorite artist, period, like right. in the world, like when I was younger. And when I got introduced to hip hop, I didn't even know it was called hip hop. <laughs> <laughs> back in back in nineteen ninety three when ODB first album came out, um uh, Into the Thirty Six Chambers, he had an ID on the cover looking crazy and then my friend had let me hear his album. And I was like, man, this is crazy. It sounded so sweet to me. But I still didn't know it was hip hop. I just thought it was music. You know what I'm saying? Like, even yeah. when I heard LL and Cool Mo D back in the day, yeah. I didn't know they was doing hip hop because my mother knew them. They was rapping, singing, and stuff. So I was just watching what they was doing. I would hear LL and them, but I just, I didn't know it was different genres. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, 100%. Like, yeah, yeah. Until I got introduced to ODB. That's when I found out hip hop is this, even though I had been listening to it forever. So it's like Wu Tang, as far as hip hop, Wu Tang was my real inspiration to pick up a pen. I had a talk boy I used to record on. I used to get these instrumentals and record on the talk boy, just rap it to the instrumentals. Excellent. And like the uh, Wu Tang inspired me, but I already had been like musically inclined from being around my mother and my uncles and them and being in, in I was the snare drummer in my band, you know what I'm saying? So, yep. like, music just always been in my veins. Like, I could do music in my sleep, like, yep. like crazy. Like, I've been doing it forever. Yep. So, yeah, my mother, my mother and my family was my inspirations to get into music. But uh, Wu-Tang was my inspiration to take on hip-hop. Good. Yeah, oh, that's, that's really interesting. That's really informative. That, And you're right, if you're around... If you're around that, uh, whatever it is, if you if your parents or your family are into a certain, you know, it's if like you were born into a family where they were, um, uh, they had a restaurant and they were restaurant restaurateurs. You tend exactly. to find that the children get into it because they've seen how it works. You know how the industry works. Uh, you know what the pitfalls are. You've got family around you to say, well, this is going to happen to you. These are the guys you need to speak to. Avoid them. Don't do this. And so you've already on exactly. a yeah, and you've been practicing and picking it up. That's wonderful. I'm really pleased I asked you that question because 
um you know people do become artists because they like music but obviously there's a there's a family tie and family connection there now you've got into mm-hmm. music and you're right about michael jackson i mean michael jackson he shaped um you mentioned him before he shaped music he took it to a yeah. di- different dimension with what he did uh his videos and and the it was fresh all the time, and he's a phenomenal for performer uh, and writer and musician. You know, well, he could dance as well, couldn't he? Jeez, wouldn't I like to take him on a dance? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> wouldn't take him on a dance off, would you? <laughs> You'd fail. <laughs> so, so we've been chattering for quite some time now. So, what have you got? Have you got any f- uh, plans for Christmas? What are you doing at Christmas? Are you going away or are you celebrating that with your uh, family? Just... Christmas, no. Christmas, I'll be with my family, but uh, we supposed to go to New York for New Year's Eve, but I'm not too sure I want to be in all that traffic. But oh, I might, no. I might still do it. Mm. But I'm really, I'm really just planning for next, the beginning of the middle of January when my, uh, when the mixtape drop, my mixtape come out. In the middle of January, I got a couple, like three new videos. I'm about to shoot with uh, Dexter Dave. Yep. And uh, Santa Magas, I'm about to shoot. I'm about to start collabing with, because all my last videos I had did myself, but I'm about to start collabing with some of these video guys inside of Detroit. Dexter Dave, one of the first ones I'm shooting with, and then um, Cinema Guys, I'm shooting with them right after him. About to shoot like four videos before January nineteenth. That's when the mixtape come out. January nineteenth. Excellent, excellent. I so said. I got a lot of work to do. It's called Spot Music. You know, for anybody that want to look it up, when that time comes, Spot Music will be out January nineteenth. iTunes and everywhere. Excellent, and we'll get behind that. Obviously, you send us the links, and we'll put that on our Facebook page, and we'll talk about. I'll talk about it on the uh, on the hip hop show and other shows on whatever. We'll we'll try and get it out there for you. Um, oh, that's good looking. Okay. But yeah, it's good. I mean, I'm we're, we're um, we've decided to go away. We're going to Malta for Christmas, so I've got family over there. So we're gonna we're gonna have a, a cunt, uh, we're gonna have a, um, a few a week away with a bit of warmer weather. So I'll be able to put a t shirt on. I think. <laughs> so, yeah, that's gonna be fun that's yeah gonna be live. yeah because my brother's over there and i've not seen him for a couple of years and uh he's lived there for four years so i thought it's about time i got on a plane and went to see him so we're gonna we're gonna enjoy that i'm sure and uh, that'll be oh uh, yeah that's gonna be fun it'd be good so thanks very much for uh spending some time and t- chatting to me and i absolutely yes indeed i really like what you're about and i genuinely genuinely wish you all the success in the future because as you say you're putting the footwork in and you're doing you're hustling you're out there i think you're a great individual and it's been wonderful to speak to you today uh gangster Thanks, Clyde, as you go the back same to you man you cool dude <laughs> <laughs> yeah and uh i'm gonna leave you to your day because i know you've only just started your day and it's very early in the morning i really appreciate yeah. you just jumping I'm about to get my son out the bed and take him to school <laughs> <laughs> Come on, get to school, son. Get to, uh, yeah, mine son went this morning, and uh, they love school, don't they? And they don't realise until they get older they do need oh, yeah. the old school, don't they? And uh, it's great that you it's great that you you're doing what you're doing, and uh, yet you've still got your time for your family, and you're still looking after your family. I think that's uh, credit to you as well. So, uh, I'm uh, yes, indeed. yeah, and I'm sure you, well, you is your son interested in music? Are you getting into your, into the scene, or is he not bothered? Oh, uh, my son, he loves uh, dancing. He'll break out dancing anyway. He'll oh. break out in the middle of Walmart and just start dancing. <laughs> oh, brilliant. And so we'll- That's his thing. He love, and you want to know what the name Because if you know, my music is kind of hip-hop, but I'm creating a whole new genre of music, just so you know. Uh, I'm calling it Urban Rhythm. That's the name of my music, Yeah, Urban Rhythm. Yeah, I- Because um, hip-hop is a cultural thing, you know what I'm saying? And, the music I make, I want it to be like, I don't want it to be biased. I want country involved. I want everything involved with the music I'm making. So I switch. And not only that, I think it's time for a whole new genre of music. Genres be born. And I just call it urban rhythm because it don't separate. And a lot of people think, like, when a lot of people hear hip hop, they think of the hood. Yes. You know what I'm saying? And yes. I don't want people to think of the hood when they, I want, so I coined it. Because if you hear urban rhythm, that sounds like yeah. everywhere. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, and yeah. 
Yeah, I fully get that. I have that with the country, but I have that with the country music as well because I really like country music. But it's nowadays it's not country like old country. It's just bloody good music, and I really right. like I really like what you've said about the hip hop there because you're quite right. When you say hip hop, that straight away. Um, Cult, in, a, in a cultural thing makes it as a like you'd say the hood it centers, it's black, it. It's, it centers it, it in a certain spot yeah he said it, it for me it's says hip-hop a lot to a lot of people says black music it's, it's for black exactly. it's black, black musicians for black uh listenership and if you and the majority when you see um a white guy doing try to do hip-hop and it just sort of doesn't you know what i mean but you're right with the urban ribbon um and I, yeah, you could introduce urban rhythm. You yeah. could see anybody doing that. Correct, and it doesn't say because I you you say hip hop or you say country music or you say rock music straight away that invokes a mental image of what that music is. Yet you've got some country singers that do like rock music that's really heavy and it could be a rock song, but it's country. And you've got you singing things like "Set Adrift." I would exactly. if I, if someone played that to me. I would never say it was hip hop. I'd say bloody hell, this, urban rhythm. this is a great <laughs> piece of music. What is it? Oh, it's hip hop. You go really? That's not hip hop. But so you're right, and I'm like, and I'm like, and I'm glad you brought that up. I'm glad we've discussed that because you, you all too often we put labels on people, on things, on communities, on beliefs, yeah. and we shouldn't. We should just look and absorb things and and see if we like something we like it regardless what names on it you know that's uh, yeah what it is hmm. and i think i really think the uh, urban rhythm name gonna do that it's because that's actually the name of my album is urban rhythm my mixtape is welcome back to the spot urban rhythm comes out at the end of may right i'm looking forward so to that it's gonna, you Look know, we got a whole lineup, and that's what that was the reason I said that because I made that back up in 2006, Urban Rhythm, and I've been pushing it ever since. But I named my son after it. his name, Urban. That's what I was trying to tell you. <laughs> wow, that was great. You've Isn't really that? got on board with that, haven't you? That was great. That's brilliant. Yeah. That's brilliant. Wonderful. Well, I'm looking forward to it all. Uh, <laughs> yeah, great. So we'll see you around. We'll see your music coming on. Please send me anything that you're doing, and I will get it onto the show. If you've got any clean, I will play uh, explicit. Uh, I got a very good song I would like you to check out, and I'm going to send you the link to it because okay. it's on the Urban Rhythm album. It's a video on YouTube. Okay. It's I'll called. Go. You might have seen it. It's called Sun in the Morning. I might have done, actually. Sign in the morning. Is that one of yours, yeah? Yeah, that's one of mine. I'm about to send you the link when we get off this line. Oh, send me the link and we will uh, we might play that on the show and I'll have a look at that. But, yeah, it's been great to speak to you. I know we, we were going to wrap it up before, but we carried on. But it's been great to speak to you. Enjoy the rest of your Friday. Uh, I'm going to look out for Larry O's Freestyle Friday later. And uh, All right. good luck for 2018. Thanks, Kurt. Same to you. Cheers. Yeah, big shout out to uh, Gangster Clyde there. Please go and check him out. I'll put it in the show notes here for you to go and find him. He is on, uh, on obviously, on YouTube. Go and check him out on YouTube. Go and check out Larry Nelson on a on Facebook. He does a Freestyle Friday, which was talking about. And I take excerpts from Freestyle Friday and put it on the Urban Rhythm Show on a Saturday evening. So DougieStoneRadio.com, D-U-G-G-Y-S-T-O-N-E dot uh, com. And you'll find the links to the radio station. I really enjoyed talking to uh, Gangster Clyde there uh, uh, the other day. Absolutely wonderful what he's doing, his drive, his ambition. And uh, yeah, I, I, that's one thing I like. I like people that are that work, that really get stuck into things. And I have a lot of deep respect for anybody that, that has prepared to get up off their ass and do something. And thanks for tuning in. Thanks for in, uh, listening to the show. Please like, please share, and please come and join us on Dougie Stone Radio, the global network.